Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Hi, it's my great pleasure to introduce Silvio Ranese. Uh, he worked many years in automated deduction. Uh, probably most of you know that he started the PDPAR workshop, that now is the SMT workshop. He's also started the SMT Lib initiative that was really important for the SMT community. Now he's going to talk, uh, today he's going to talk about model checking model theories, uh, declarative framework and pragmatic issues. Right, so it's very interesting work. Uh, I, I've seen the talk before. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, I'm going to talk about a, a, a new approach uh, to perform model checking uh, of uh, mm, a parameterized system, basically. I would like to mention that this is joint work with the Silvio Ghilardi of the University of Genova. So let me come to some uh, motivation uh, that uh, started uh, this work. Basically, a parameterized system is, uh, is a system made up of uh, uh, several processes uh, that are instances of uh, the same, uh, of the same uh, uh, you can think of uh, a, a finite state system, OK? Uh, um, they are arranged in some uh, uh, topology, say, a linear, uh, uh, like a linear order, or a more complex topology like trees or, or even graphs, etc. Um, this uh, usually the, the 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 finite state automaton is also augmented, uh, is an extension of an uh, of a finite state automaton, where uh, also variables uh, that can range over unbounded domains uh, may take uh, may take values. And um, the, the key, uh, one of the key uh, notion uh, for the verification of this kind of system is the notion of configuration. Basically, that is a, a representation, a compact representation, a finite representation of a possibly infinite uh, number of uh, uh, processes in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in of, of arrangement of these processes in the, in the system. So uh, obviously, uh, the evolution of this uh, of this uh, uh, kind of system is uh, formal can be formalized by transitions, and uh, um, there are two types of transition: the one that are local to one particular process, and the one that uh, involves uh, uh, more than one process. For example, this mo uh, this uh, formalized uh, communication between processes. Uh, and um, between two, for example, a rendezvous uh, uh, synchronization between two processes or even uh, uh, broadcast. Uh, so the, the main, uh, mm, the, the, the real problem for the verification of this kind of system is to perform uh, the verification uh, of uh, certain properties uh, without uh, fixing a, a, a given number of processes, okay? So we want really to uh, prove that the property is uh, satisfied by the, the system uh, regardless of the number of, uh, of, the, of the process. So there are many possible uh, ways of, uh, of um, proving uh, uh, properties for this kind of uh, uh, parameterized system. Uh, in this talk, I will focus on safety, on safety properties, basically. Uh, that uh, uh, that can be mm, that are those uh, properties that, that can be uh, verified by using a backward reachability analysis. So the system uh, for the, the the problem uh, the verification problem for this kind of properties can be given by uh, specifying these three ingredients. So a set of initial state, a set of final state that captures basically the configurations. Uh, that are unsafe, that we do not want uh, that the system uh, uh, can uh, uh, reach, okay? And uh, uh, then also we have to specify the, the set of, uh, of transitions that uh, put a, a relationship between the actual values of, uh, of, the, of the variables of the state with the next uh, uh, variables. 
So the idea underlying uh, this uh, uh, backward uh, reachability algorithm is uh, to compute pre-images. So we start uh, from uh, the, uh, the set of final states, uh, we, we compute pre-images, uh, and uh, we perform this computation several times. And uh, uh, we have two, uh, basically, uh, uh, things, two activities to do at each, uh, to perform at each, at each iteration. The first one is to check that the intersection with the initial state, uh, uh, the initial set of state is empty. Uh, otherwise, uh, we can stop computing pre-images uh, and say that the system is unsafe because there exists uh, a sequence of uh, transition that uh, uh, start from the set of initial states and arrive uh, to a state uh, uh, which is uh, in the set uh, of uh, unsafe states. And so we can conclude uh, that the system is unsafe. The other activity is uh, uh, that should be performed if the uh, first test is passed and there is no uh, intersection with the set of initial state, uh, is the fixed point check. Meaning that uh, we have to check if the new computed set of, uh, of, uh, set of pre-images is contained in the previous, in the, in the previous set that uh, we, have, uh, we have considered, uh, we have computed uh, in the previous uh, iteration. In this case, uh, we can stop the computation, okay, because no more uh, information can be extracted by this uh, uh, repeated uh, pre-image computation, no more, no new sets, uh, no new uh, set of states are reachable, um, and uh, we have reached the fixed point without checking, without uh, uh, finding any intersection with the set of initial state, and so we can stop and said, and uh, conclude that the set of, that the system is, uh, is safe, okay? This is the, the... So why do you go backwards? Is it because of quantified elimination? Yes. Yes, basically, basically because of t for technical reasons, uh, as we see in a moment, when we go forward, we, I mean, certain manipulation uh, are, are more complex, okay? So if we recast these ideas in a more logical uh, uh, context, basically, uh, the, the stating the, the safety problem is, uh, is, is easy take formula that describe basically uh, both the initial set of state, the final set of state, and uh, uh, the transitions, okay? So the formula contains uh, as uh, three variables, uh, the, the, uh, the variables that represent the values uh, of, uh, of, the, of, the vari of the state variables uh, for, the, for characterizing set of state, while uh, uh, transition, uh, as, uh, as usual, contains uh, the values uh, at the actual state before executing the transition, and then uh, uh, the values at the next state after the execution of the transition. So basically, uh, the activity of perform or computing the pre-image of uh, the set of unsafe state basically amounts to uh, mm, uh, form compute uh, this, uh, this formula, okay? So basically, this is uh, a formula in the state variable S. So applying a transition backwards means to quantify over the set of, uh, of values that from which we, we start from, okay? So here uh, we have uh, anyway an existential quantifiers, uh, but uh, uh, if we find uh, the suitable format, as we will see, of these two formulae, okay, this is not problematic. We can uh, get rid easily of this, uh, of this, uh, of this existential quantifier. And then uh, coming to the uh, activities that we have to perform at each iteration, basically what we do is uh, to perform a satisfiability test and uh, a validity test. So safety. Uh, is the intersection between the set of uh, uh, actual uh, um, computed status backward reachable state and uh, the set of initial state. We want uh, it to we want to establish if the intersection is empty or not. 
And at the level of, uh, logically, this means that uh, we check the satisfiability of the conjunction of the formula representing these two states. Similarly, for fixed point checking, in order to uh, establish if uh, a set of states is included in another, it is sufficient to check the validity of the implication. Okay? Since we want to reduce everything to satisfiability because uh, we want to use uh, tools that are implemented to solve the, the satisfiability problem, and we consider the dual, the dual problem of checking the unsatisfiability of the negation. So in order to do this, we, uh, basically we need to um, uh, negate the conclusion of uh, the, 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 the implication. Okay? So unsatisfiability of the negation of the implication is equivalent uh, to the validity of the implication. Okay, so uh, what are the, the problems that, are, uh, um, that one faces when one starts this, uh, this, uh, to implement uh, these uh, simple ideas? So uh, there are two aspects that are important for this kind of system. The first one is the, um, the, the, the topology, and uh, the other is uh, the representation of the variables that are manipulated by, by the system, by each process in, in the system. So uh, usually in uh, the system that uh, perform this kind of backward reachability, what uh, is done is to use uh, constraints basically for uh, uh, representing, uh, for, to, to, yeah, to find a finite representation of uh, the values of the set of the variables that are manipulated by the process and uh, an ad hoc uh, data structure to represent the configurations. Okay? This is uh, what is usually done, uh, system like uh, uh, developed by the group uh, of Abdullah in, uh, in Sweden uh, do exactly this. Um, the point uh, uh, in doing this is that uh, uh, every time, basically, you change the topology of the system, so start considering, for example, linear uh, 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 system with a linear uh, topology. Then you want to consider, uh, say, um, system uh, uh, that are orga organized in a graph structure. So you have two. Uh, come up with another uh, data structure to represent the topology, okay? And in any case, uh, you have to combine uh, these two hybrid uh, representation. One is constraint for, for uh, uh, values of variables, and the other is, uh, is a, a data structure, okay? So we want to avoid, uh, with this work, uh, this, uh, the need to come up every time uh, you change the class of system you are interested in. Okay, with uh, a new uh, uh, with a new representation for this uh, for this um, uh, configurations, and uh, um, uh, instead work at a more uh, declarative level and provide uh, a rep symbolic representation of both the the, the values of the variables and uh, the the topology of the system. Okay. And uh, this seems uh, basically the idea of suitable by using uh, um, formulae, okay? Everything is expressed uh, by formulae in a sense that we will see in a moment. And uh, uh, also to use, to leverage basically uh, uh, the state of art uh, reasoning tool called the uh, satisfiability modality resolver that are good, uh, extremely good uh, at uh, solving uh, the satisfiability problem here. Okay? This is our motivation. Okay. However, in order to, to, to implement this, uh, this idea, there are uh, several things to, to clarify. The first thing is, uh, okay, formula is okay, but what kind of formula? So we need to specify basically the signature, and uh, also the meaning of the symbols uh, used in the signature. When you use, for example, variables, uh, a system uh, manipulate variables that range over integers, uh, the update, uh, for example, may involve uh, 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 algebraic operation, and we want that this uh, uh, algebraic operation has the standard meaning, okay? 
another uh, another uh, um, things to be clarified is uh, well how we get rid of this uh, existential quantifier here when computing the pre-image this is important because uh, if you if you leave this quantifier there when you recompute uh, uh, pre-images uh, then you are in trouble because you have uh, nested quantifiers and, the, and uh, these uh, existential quantifiers accumulate at each iteration of the algorithm. Also a minimal requirement uh, for to mechanize the, this uh, backward reachability algorithm is the, to require that the two uh, satisfiability tests that implement the, the safety and fixed point checks uh, are desirable. Okay? Otherwise, we cannot even imagine to uh, terminate one iteration of, of the algorithm, okay? And um, also, it is important to, at least at a theoretical level, it is important to, to, uh, to study the termination of the algorithm, okay? It, it is not sufficient that uh, at each iteration uh, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can establish uh, uh, the two uh, uh, satisf uh, the satisfiability of the two formulas representing safety and fixed point checking. Uh, because we can keep uh, uh, computing pre-images forever. Okay? Because the, the formula that we use, the class of formula that we use, uh, uh, cannot be expressive enough to represent in a finite way the set of, uh, of, reachable st of backward reachable state. Okay, so it would be interesting, at least uh, theoretically, to establish under which condition, sufficient condition to have uh, the termination of, uh, this, uh, of this algorithm. So uh, to, to start uh, uh, um, uh, solving some of this problem, uh, we should fix uh, some, uh, uh, some uh, notions like uh, the topology that we, uh, want, uh, we want to specify we want to specify by, by a theory. In this context, a theory is not the classical notion of theory as a set of sentences uh, that we find in, uh, that you can find in any book about first order logic, but it's a more, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a notion that is used more consistently in the SMT uh, community, like, uh, because a theory is a pair composed of a signature, the set of symbols that you use to build the, the formula, and a class of first order uh, structure that uh, are the models uh, of the formula, okay? So the topology uh, can consist of, uh, of uh, for example, a finite set, and then the, the theory uh, could be the theory of equality, for example, okay? Linear orders, uh, if, you, if we have a topology arranged, uh, of system arranged in a linear order, then uh, we uh, can uh, uh, give uh, a, a relational signature uh, with the less than uh, relation, and uh, the models will be all the, the, um, uh, the first order structure that satisfy the usual uh, uh, axiom of linear order, etc. Okay? Um, the uh, class of models is finitely asymptotizable? No, 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 no. A, a set of models, a class of models. So for example, if you have, uh, say, linear arithmetic, you would allow uh, least elements and largest elements, and you wouldn't exclude Yes. As, soon, as far as uh, the, we, you can pro, we can come up with a decision procedure, at least for the satisfiability problem of quantifier free theories, yes. We are quite open uh, in, with, this, uh, with this notion, okay? Uh, for, the, for the data, in order to uh, model the data, we use uh, a theory, but this is more, common, uh, more commonly used and we use the theory of integers, for example, Pressburger arithmetic we can use, um, and others, okay? This is uh, easier. I have a question. Sure. So this data, right? I mean there are parametric systems in which each process could have an unbounded queue itself in itself yeah. by communicating to some other process. So yeah. is that data or is that topology for you? Uh, well, it depends on how you specify it, but uh, personally I regard it as data. Yeah. Your theory will be richer in that case. Uh, yes, yes. Um, 
Okay. And then uh, there is a, a, a link between these two, um, these two uh, uh, theories. Uh, basically, um, so that we can build in a modular way by combining these two theories, uh, the theory of uh, the parameterized system that we have in mind. And uh, this connection, basically, is simply a mapping Okay, a function between the elements uh, in, uh, in the element, in the, in the indexes, and uh, uh, the elements uh, in uh, uh, the theory uh, uh, for, uh, for the data part. Okay, it's an association between, uh, between indexes and, uh, and the element. So basically it's a function. So the, the, it's a very simple idea, okay? You have, uh, you have elements in the index theory, you have elements uh, in, uh, in the element theory, and you have a mapping. This is uh, how we build, basically, the, the, this is, the, of course, the, 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 the intuition that can be formalized by using uh, 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 standard uh, method in uh, combination, for the combination of a decision procedure. I have a question. Sure. Do you assume, I mean, assume that the theories do not have to be destroyed, the TI and the T. I mean, you can have elements that are for indices. Uh, no, uh, we, we assume that they are disjoint. So the sort of indexes and the sort of elements uh, are the instinct, so the mapping is one way. It's a sort of stratification if you, if you prefer in the, in the model, okay? Okay. okay? So the propagation of the information is, is in the direction of the mapping, say, okay? You need to propagate uh, uh, the, the the equality of the element uh, towards the, 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 the ele the, those uh, among, among elements in order to maintain the usual property of a function, of being a function, okay? But yes, they, they are the instinct. Okay. So another, uh, another uh, point here, important point, is uh, that uh, we, can, we cannot... Uh, uh, we, in order to keep the situation uh, under control uh, with respect to, at least, for example, the decidability of uh, uh, the, um, the safety and fixed point checking, uh, we need to constrain the set of formula that we use to describe our set of state and our, uh, uh, and our transitions. So we uh, consider in particular uh, um, uh, this kind of uh, formula in order to describe a set of unsafe state, final state, okay? So an existential quantified uh, uh, prefix uh, of uh, existentially quantified variables of uh, the sort uh, of indexes and uh, a Boolean combination of, uh, of formula, okay? In, uh, in where... Uh, you can use, uh, uh, where uh, you admit to use the, both this, uh, the, the, form, the variables that are universally quantified and the application of the function A, connecting element, uh, indexes with the element, uh, applied to, this, uh, uh, to these indexes, okay? We use this notation which is more similar to the arrays in order to have, uh, to give the flavor of the array-based system uh, that uh, we uh, uh, characterize uh, with this uh, with this notation, okay, with this con notion. Um, okay, for example, just to give you an idea, in order to use uh, uh, to specify that mu mutual exclusion is violated, which is a typical property of a protocol ensuring mutual exclusion. So you do not want to reach this uh, uh, state uh, that uh, are uh, that satisfies this uh, this formula characterized by this formula, you can write, for example, that there exist two indexes, okay, which are the instinct, and both of the processes, of the control location of, of these uh, two the instinct processes, are actually in the critical uh, section, okay? This is the idea of, uh, of our formula. Then we can, uh, as I said before, we should constrain also the uh, transitions. And these transitions are uh, um, uh, basically uh, uh, the guarded assignment, okay? So we have a guard here, and we have a functional update, uh, okay? 
So basically, uh, again, we use uh, existentially, uh, an existential quantifier to say basically the intuition, the intuition underlying this uh, formula is there exist uh, certain um, uh, processes that satisfies the guard, okay? And in that case, the state of the all processes, of all processes, uh, becomes the, the, the one specified by this uh, function, okay? Okay, it, it is, a, a, it is a, a functional here. Uh, we use a little bit of higher order notation, but you can recast easily everything in, uh, in first order logic. It's just to make the things co the more complicated. The notion of having lambdas to model objects of functions, I mean, it was presented in some earlier work, right? Euclid and yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have imported the, these uh, these ideas. Uh, absolutely, you are right. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, uh, just to 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 make things a little bit more precise, G the the guard is a quantifier free formula, and uh, uh, F is uh, uh, a function of uh, the actual state, basically. So just to give you an idea of how a formula, of how a transition of this form looks like in practice is this one, okay? So this is the transition of, a ba of the bakery algorithm, of a version, of a very simplified version of the bakery algorithm uh, that implements uh, uh, the, the, the mutual exclusion. For, uh, in this case, we have just one process. There must exist just one process that is in use. This is the guard, okay? And this specifies how uh, the system evolves. Basically, this means that uh, um, the array of processes okay, changes only at the index i, okay? where from use, uh, the control location moves to idle. All the other processes remain in the same state. Basically, this means that when you are in the critical section, you, you can exit whenever you want. Okay, that's it. It's very simple, but you can express also more complex things like broadcasting messages, uh, etc. I mean, just to give, it's very simple. So again, you could update multiple processes at the same time. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. You you can uh, update uh, uh, finitely many processes, uh, finitely many processes, and uh, an unknown number because you can always say, for example, if you have a, 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 a linear order, so you can say. If j is less than i, then all uh, the processes goes to idle. Then you do not know how many processes change the state. Okay? I don't know if this means anything here, but uh, just to give you the, the flavor of the, of, of the expressiveness of the approach. Okay, so by using this, uh, this uh, format for formulae and for, uh, um, for transition, then uh, we can, we can uh, uh, derive a first uh, important uh, um, property, basically, of, uh, our, uh, of, uh, of, the, the, of this kind of system. Uh, basically, uh, the closure under pre-image computation. Okay? This is one of, of the key ingredients of, of backward reachability. Because when you, when you go back one step, you do not want to end up manipulating a formula which is outside the class of the formula that uh, uh, you have started with, right? Otherwise, uh, you do not know uh, where, where you go. I mean, how complex the structure of the formula becomes. So basically, by using the previous, uh, uh, the previous uh, um, two uh, characterization for uh, um, uh, unsafe, uh, set of unsafe state and uh, transition, then it is easy to uh, to show that this uh, uh, expression, that is the pre-image computation, is uh, always logically equivalent to a, a, an exist i formula, okay? So characterizing a set of unsafe state, um, uh, and it's, you, you can always compute this, okay? And uh, there is no need to uh, use any quantifier of elimination uh, over the, 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 the data or over the uh, indexes. The idea is simple. If we take, uh, you take the previous two uh, uh, formulae, uh, the one characterizing 
uh, mutual exclusion and the one uh, characterizing the exit of the process from uh, the, the, the critical section, then uh, uh, the computing the pre-image is easy. Uh, just, uh, we just uh, copy the, the definition of the pre-image. We expand here the various uh, computation, the various uh, formula. And then, uh, uh, basically, we start uh, reasoning by cases, OK? So as you see here, you, we have introduced the new existentially quantified variables over the indexes, OK? So basically, you have uh, many cases. i can be equal to i1, the previous. i can be equal to i2, or i can be different from both i1 and i2, right? OK? And so you, you start considering each of these cases uh, separately, OK, in order to simplify this, uh, this, uh, this formula, OK? I consider here just the, the first one, the, all the other are, are omitted. Um, OK, uh, by assuming, basically, by using the, this, uh, this uh, additional assumption, OK, you can basically uh, use this, uh, uh, the expression of A prime here. And uh, in order to decide which, side, which uh, uh, branch of the if then else condition uh, you have to take. OK? Uh, this, uh, for example, in this case, in the first case, uh, simplifies dramatically the situation because uh, you end up with an identity, OK, et cetera. What, uh, what you get is that you can get rid of the A prime because it's only mentioned in, in that place, no, nowhere else. Okay? So you, you can basically eliminate the A prime. That's a sim very simple trick. Do you allow comparison between gray groups in your, like can you have A prime equals A double prime in your, like if condition? Can your guards be, guards talk about? Uh, here, guards, here? Yeah. Yeah. Can uh, you talk about A equals A prime? No. 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 What in, in SMT logic array theories allow you to compare the qualities of array terms, right? Oh. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about it. Maybe, maybe Leonardo is more, yeah. 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 OK. But if you do that, then you introduce quantifiers, basically. Yeah. But uh, I mean, uh, 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 this is just to give you an, a, a, a very rough idea of the, of the, of the basic of the proofs. So, I mean, it's, it's very, very uh, in any case, you can get rid easily of, of these uh, of this, uh, this quantifiers, uh, basically. This is the message. And uh, another thing that I would like to point out here is that uh, Unfortunately, you, you have uh, the, the, the existential prefix grows. Okay? We had, with respect to the initial formula here, that contained only two existentially quantified variables, here you have three. This is bad. This is bad when you, uh, you come to, to fixed point, uh, fix point checking, okay? as we will see now. So now that we have uh, established in any case that uh, uh, we have uh, um, we can uh, we can eliminate uh, basically the existential quantifiers over the the, the arrays now uh, uh, and that we have obtained a, a closure under pre-image computation with respect to the class of existential quantified variables then uh, we can we can consider the problem of uh, checking uh, of fixed point and safety checking. These, are, these have the same uh, uh, structure, basically, in, in terms of uh, shapes, uh, uh, the shape of the formula. So recall that in order to perform fixed point checking, you need to uh, perform the validity module of the background theory that we have built uh, before uh, between the set of uh, actual uh, uh, pre-images and uh, the one previously computed. And then we need to uh, perform the, uh, the unsatisfiability checking of the negation of that, uh, uh, of that implication modulo the background theory. So basically, here comes the problem, because uh, this is an existentially quantified formula, 
because of the closure and the pre-image computation. This is an existentially quantified formula, but then if you negate it, you have the dual of an existentially quantified formula. So you need really to consider also this formula, this format of formula, which are universally quantified formula. Uh, have a very similar structure of the, of, uh, to the existentially quantified ones. The only thing that changes is uh, the, the quantifiers in front. And uh, uh, they are particularly interesting because they also serve to describe set, uh, sets of initial state. Because usually when you, you describe a, a set of initial state in a parameterized, parameterized system, you start uh, from a situation where every, uh, all processes uh, have the same uh, initial uh, configuration. Okay? So for example, for the bakery, you, you want to express that all processes are in the state idle. Right? So basically, this means that when you go to check, uh, uh, to perform a safety check, you take the conjunction of an existentially quantified uh, formula that represents the, 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 the actual set of pre-images and a universally quantified one. Okay, so we have the same structure of for the, that uh, we have for the fixed point checking. Okay, and uh, here is the result that we are uh, we have looking for. So the decidability of the satisfiability module of the background theory that we had uh, built um, uh, of this kind of formula. So the formula that we consider are, are uh, basically quantifier-free formula whose prefix uh, is an existential and uh, for all quantifiers, OK? And uh, the, the decidability of this can be obtained under these uh, sufficient conditions, basically. So the decidability of the quantifier-free problem of each component theory of Ti and Te for indexes and elements. And then uh, uh, this uh, uh, further uh, assumption about Ti, OK? So, these further assumptions uh, constrain the uh, signature of TI to contain only constant and predicate symbols. So basically a relational, uh, a relational uh, um, uh, theory. And uh, also we require that the class of models of this theory is uh, closed under substructure. Okay? Just to give you an idea of why all these uh, of all these uh, um, uh, conditions are, uh, are uh, how these conditions are used, uh, the proof uh, uh, the sketch is the following. So, by by using we, we reduce uh, this problem containing quantifiers to many uh, to the to um, to a, a satisfiability problem for a, a quantifier-free uh, uh, formula, OK? And we do this by uh, instantiating the universally quantified variables uh, j, OK, in all possible ways uh, uh, that are possible with respect to the existentially quantified variable i here, OK? We perform all the mapping between the j and the i. Okay? Once you take the conjunction of all these instances that you have computed, okay? so at this point you have a, a quantifier-free formula. right? Okay? It is possible to show that these are equivalent. The satisfiability problem have the same solution. Okay? Because basically of this constant of this assumption, constant and predicate symbols, because basically uh, the idea here is that only the constant uh, uh, that are mentioned in the formula are important. Okay? All the other uh, terms are somehow equivalent to the ones mentioned in, uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the formula. Okay? Yes, similar. Okay. Uh, 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 we, we started out from a slightly different per perspective. We consider locally finite theories. 
okay? Localified entities has exactly the property that I mentioned before. All the, 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 the terms are uh, prove the equivalent modulo the theory to a finite set of terms, right? Okay, that's the idea. In this way, you can, uh, by, by considering all this uh, finite set of terms, you are, you are sure that you have, you, you range over all possible values, right? Okay. Richer than the effectively propositional theory that you have with predicates and quantifier operations? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, have, I don't have any. Well, the second one is that Amir and Lenore and others and some classes of theories for which they, formulas for which they prove decidability, like a small model. Yes, uh, I, I know the, the, there is a paper by, uh, by Pnueli and the, the, that one, uh, three, three authors or more. Yeah, uh, it's similar, it's similar. Uh, but again, I don't know exactly the relationship. Uh, every, I mean, I'm here also to look with, the, with the Leonardo in this kind of relationship, right? Okay, yes, it's, it would be interesting to put in a uniform framework all the results. Uh, you're right. Um, Anyway, uh, uh, then uh, comes the closed under uh, uh, substructure uh, uh, assumption, okay? Because uh, when, you, when you have uh, this quantifier-free formula that you have obtained by performing all the possible instances, then uh, if you, if you uh, obtain satisfiable, okay? You decide that it's satisfiable, then you, you have uh, shown the model is, uh, is uh, somehow finite, right? And there is no guarantee if the, the, there is no uh, assumption about the closure and the substructure that uh, it, it will hold also in larger models. What does it mean exactly? The substructure? Uh, recall that uh, a theory is a pair si signature a uh, class of models. Closure means that if you have a, a, a first order structure in this class, then all is a substructure also belongs also to this class. Okay, and then uh, so basically you have reduced by by computing instances uh, this problem. Okay, and then you have a, a quantifier-free uh, uh, formula, modulo a theory, which is a combination of theories, right? But then there exists the standard, uh, uh, basically a combination uh, results uh, that allows you to. Um, uh, to derive the, to transfer the decidability of the comp from the component theory to the composed theory. It's a kind of Nelson open here, but uh, simpler in the sense that instead of having the propagation of equalities between the two theories, okay, you have, uh, you have to propagate equalities in just one theory to maintain the fact that you have the array is really a function. Okay, connecting the two is really. So if I understand correctly, the closeness under substructure is essentially is, is the same as preserving existential uh, statements, right? Yes. It's yes. The same thing. So yep. uh, if a model, you know, if the class of models preserves all existential statements, if and only if it's closed under substructures. That's yeah. I think some yeah. classically developed models. Yeah. The the point is that. Uh, um, here, uh, I mean, the, the usually this, this kind of statement are, uh, are uses, uh, I mean, slightly different formalization. The theory is not exactly the theory we are talking about here, and, uh, and uh, there is no mention in, in a model uh, theory book uh, like Chan Kinsler or whatever you like uh, of, uh, of, lo of, uh, of this kind of, uh, of uh, problems modulo theory, okay? It's, uh, for, it's, uh, you, you see what I mean. For, technically, you, be, you should be a little bit more precise than, yeah, I mean, the idea is that, but then. But here we just talk about independently, I mean, it's closed on substructures, independent of the model of, of yeah. the model you're asking. Yeah. Okay, so this is the, the, the basic uh, result, okay? Um, Okay, th this is what I, I have talked about I, I this. Uh, okay, just, uh, just, uh, just one, one mm, remark. So uh, basically, uh, uh, the, you can find uh, some kind of intuition about also the, this uh, closure and the sub, sub, um, substructure 
pr uh, property. So basically, this means uh, corresponds to the fact that uh, if you take out, uh, if you take a, a, a certain configuration, okay, that satisfies your topology. If you take out one of the process, uh, then uh, you, you can do it and preserve the, the topology, basically. Okay, and this is why also, uh, uh, for example, we cannot do the, we, not, we cannot consider rings. If you take out a process from a ring, you, you do not have any more a ring, right? Okay, so this is one a limitation of our approach. We cannot uh, handle uh, uh, rings. Okay, so the, the, the final point uh, uh, about, uh, about this, uh, the, uh, the, the question that we have started this, uh, this presentation is that when uh, the backward reachability algorithm terminates, because even if uh, we have the previous two nice properties, closure and the pre image computation and uh, the suitability of the, of the two checks, then we can, we can diverge, okay? Because uh, as I said, the, the, the formula uh, does not allow, do not allow you to have a finite representation of the fixed point or the set of fixed points. Right? I mean, they, there is a limitation of expressiveness. Okay, you can uh, show a theorem that has more or less the same, uh, has the same uh, assumption as the theorem about the decidability, but uh, also has a further assumption that both Ti and Te satisfy the previous assumption, okay? Under this hypothesis, you can show that uh, the, the, the backward reachability algorithm always terminates, okay? Because this is, as a, a, this is a, a relationship with the, the result by, put forward by Abdullah about uh, upward closed set and well uh, ordered transition system where basically uh, by, uh, there are some uh, situations uh, in which you can uh, define a certain ordering, which is also a well quasi-ordering over these configurations, okay? And so you obtain basically that uh, this uh, um, uh, set of, uh, the, this, uh, the, 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 the iteration of, there is a bound over the iteration of, uh, of the backward uh, reachability algorithm. Okay? Process is finite state? For example. Yes. Yeah. Because you don't allow arrays like function symbols in TI. So exactly. Yes. Okay. So this is, a, uh, this is a just a characterization of when the, the algorithm terminates. Then you can say, okay, let's do it in any case, because in any case the algorithm is sound. May not be complete, may diverge, okay? But if you are lucky in practice, okay, you, you can get the uh, termination in any, uh, uh, also in case in which this theorem, the, the condition in, uh, in this theorem does not hold, okay? So it, it's just good to have this uh, characterization of some, uh, uh, of some, uh, uh, good behavior of this backward reachability algorithm, okay? And this also uh, showed that uh, but, uh, it is interesting, the proof underlying this theorem uh, basically exploits a connection between uh, a certain uh, structure uh, in the, in the uh, extracted from the models of, uh, of, uh, of the theory, basically, and uh, uh, this notion of configuration. This means that uh, ins uh, instead of using, a, a, of, of coming up yourself with the, uh, the right notion of, uh, uh, of configuration on which you can define a, a well quasi-ordering, uh, this is an automatic way of creating a, a notion of, uh, of, uh, of ordering, of, uh, so, sorry, of configuration. Uh, it's automatic to define the well quasi-ordering there is a uniform way to, to do this. And then uh, what remains to, to show is the well quasi order property, okay? Okay, so what we have uh, uh, done so far, basically we have uh, more or less stated uh, uh, the formal back background uh, to develop uh, 
uh, to mechanize the, uh, the backward reachability algorithm by using uh, uh, manipulation of a formula, okay, uh, in order to compute the pre-image, and then also to use uh, SMT solving in order to perform uh, the safety and fixed point check. So the question is, can we do, can, can we implement it somehow? Can we make it operation, okay? Oh, sorry. So I think this decidability result is also relevant in the case of abstraction. Like if you're doing predicate abstraction, mm -hmm. they say that you can compute the strongest invariant over the set of predicates if the theorem prover queries are decidable, right? Mm -hmm. So they're also at each fixed point case, when you're trying to get the abstract successors, you have the same kind of query mm -hmm. exists for all. So yeah. I think if, if you plug in your results in that case, we can even do forward reachability with abstraction. Uh, we, we, are, we are exactly, I mean, we started to, we have started with Silvio to, to, to work uh, on, uh, on this point, but it's, uh, it's uh, very interesting. We, we have done some similar thing by using, by, by a technique uh, integrating in invariant, the guessing of invariant in this. But uh, it's a kind of uh, mixing a bit of backward reachability and a bit of forward reachability by this by using this uh, this invariance but yes it's for sure it's, it is one of our next uh, uh, topic um, so ab about the implementation uh, so we were very naive at the beginning and we started with a si very simple client server uh, uh, implementation the the client generates the proof obligation for fixed point uh, and safety and then uh, we let the SMT solver uh, um, um, uh, perform this, uh, this check. But the, the results uh, were awful, was awful, really. Uh, not even the, maybe the only, the only um, protocol that we succeeded in, to manage was, uh, was the, the bakery, free transitions, uh, not, not, not more. It didn't scale up. And the problem basically was was uh, was twofold. One was the 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 lack of uh, of um, of a, a of a, an available instantiation strategy to handle the universal quantifier, and uh, um, and the other was the, um, incrementality. Okay, we basically we use the SMTlib format. Uh, uh, that uh, does not allow you to uh, state incremental problems. Okay, each time we recreate all the context, uh, and uh, it was terribly slow. So we ca we, we we were a little bit more careful, and uh, we try to integrate uh, some uh, um, uh, some. Um, some ideas uh, in this, uh, in this uh, to refine this client server architecture, okay? Uh, the first one was uh, to eliminate uh, useless instances uh, in the process of uh, uh, creating the uh, quantifier-free formula to check the satisfiability. So if you think of, um, uh, of uh, for example, a fixed point, um, a safety check, I mean, all those instances that are clearly uh, that clearly does not uh, um, uh, uh, give you the hope to detect, to, to obtain uh, satisfiable, because in that case the intersection between the actual state of pre-images and uh, the set of initial state is non-empty, okay, are useless, right? Okay, so basically we uh, have integrated uh, a very simple uh, uh, idea to avoid enumerate uh, these useless instances so for example uh, if you have uh, this kind of uh, of situation where uh, you have uh, the set of unsafe state uh, an existentially quantified formula and uh, uh, the set of initial state uh, that you have to check for satisfiability and uh, imagine that this structure this is very uh, uh, th this is very common for many protocols that uh, uh, we have considered. So uh, when you consider the instance that maps Z to X, okay, you obtain something that is obviously un unsatisfiable, okay, because uh, these uh, C and D 
if they represent to the instinct uh, element, to the instinct constant, okay, then uh, this uh, by, by equality propagation you obtain c equal to d. If these are the instinct, then right, this is obviously unsatisfiable, and you do not want it. And this is uh, uh, in most of the time the case, okay. So we have uh, we have implemented uh, some a technique that in order to avoid this kind of uh, of uh, situations, uh, this kind of instances that we have uh, called the filtering modulo and enumerated data type theory. Uh, so the idea is that C and D represents uh, two constants of an enumerated data type theory. A con for example, when you have a program, have you, you have a control location. Okay, you have you can represent the control location by an enumerated data type theory. Okay, each process comes up comes with a, a, a set of control locations, right? So this is very common in all the, 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 the problems that we have considered you have a, a, a situation of this kind. Um, okay, uh, in order to make it uh, uh, effective, you have to decorate basically the formula with the values uh, uh, of the array variables that uh, have as a codomain an enumerated data type theory, and these uh, are used uh, to perform uh, to perform the uh, this uh, this filtering. Basically, it is used also in order to speed up uh, certain uh, um, the basically when you perform the backward reachability the sorry the pre-image computation, you have to establish if the uh, the transition is enabled. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, avoid uh, to, uh, to compute the pre-image. And this uh, kind of uh, technique, uh, of this kind of decoration can be used also in that context. I uh, don't want to give uh, all the details. The range of enumerated data codomains essentially means that it has a finite yes. range. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, uh, the, the point is that uh, usually uh, you have one variable, uh, one array variable that map indexes to uh, control location enumerated data, but you have also many other uh, uh, arrays for all the other fields uh, that are uh, manipulated by the process, okay? But this helps in any case, okay? Um, okay. Uh, so recall that uh, uh, w when we performed the pre-image computation, we had uh, the, uh, the, um, the existential uh, uh, prefix uh, growing, right? You remember? So uh, maybe I can go directly to the example. So this is the, the, the usual the, the example that I have used uh, before, okay? I have only renamed, uh, I don't know why, the... the the i with the, an i3 here, okay? Uh, as before, uh, uh, if we consider, uh, re re remember all the manipulation that we have, uh, we had before, uh, but now, instead of uh, considering the case analysis between uh, um, uh, the, the various, uh, uh, let's, let's go into a little bit more, Let's, let's be a little bit more careful in, in performing the case analysis, okay? Uh, for example, when, when here, when we uh, perform this, uh, the, we consider the first case, then uh, we, we obtain something which is uh, trivially unsatisfiable and we can eliminate uh, from uh, the, conju the, 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 the conjunction of the, uh, the various uh, uh, formula in uh, the, the pre-image computation. Uh, in the other case, when I1, I3 is different uh, from uh, I1, then the, 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 the situation simplifies to something, okay, which is already mentioned in the set, uh, in the previous set of state. So in, in, a, in a way it's subsumed, okay? So basically this means that it is not necessary to map these new uh, variables to, some, to a value which is different from the values that are uh, that have already been mentioned in the uh, set of uh, uh, unsafe state that we have considered before. Okay, 
So in other, in other words, there is no need to grow to make the prefix, the existential prefix, prefix grow, okay? So we come up with the, so we can do this basically every time this, uh, this kind of reasoning, every time we compute the, the pre-image, right? But it's, it's time consuming, okay? Because if you do it sometimes millions of time, okay? It's very time consuming. So what we do is uh, that we come up with uh, some ideas. Uh, uh, okay, it's in the slides before, sorry. Uh, that uh, uh, by analyzing the format, uh, the particular format of the transition here, okay, before running the backward reachability analysis technique, uh, allows you to know if the you have to introduce a new variable or not, or can be mapped to one of the, of the, two, of the mm, existentially quantified variables that are already in, in, the, in the initial form, okay? So uh, since this is a little bit technical, uh, I prefer to point uh, you to, to our papers or uh, we can discuss it. Formulas that you exploit? Is it syntactic? No, it's, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. It, it, it's, uh, it seems like a syntactic way to identify these things, right? Otherwise, it's not something that you add a constraint to a theorem prover to. Yes. Uh, it's a, it's a very it, so basically, what, what we do is that we create some uh, proof obligations for the SMT solver, okay? Uh, before, uh, outside, uh, as a pre processing step, that are few, I mean, uh, let's say, I don't know, 10 or 20, something like that, that are quickly solved by, by the SMT solver because uh, they fall into, into the same class of the, in which the disability result holds. And then by, by looking at the, the conclusion of the SMT solver, we can decide it. So it's, you know, it's a mixture of the, of the two. And finally, can you stitch together a proof? In the theory, or is there some meta reasoning? Uh, no, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get a proof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is basically the idea, the, the two ideas that we have uh, uh, implemented to uh, uh, make the, the system uh, run in a, in a satisfactory way, okay? So this is just an overview of the architecture. I don't want to, to go into the details, but uh, uh, just to, to mention two things. First, that uh, it's, it's uh, more complex than a client-server architecture. It's, there are many more modules, and there is an interplay between all of, uh, of these modules. And uh, we use uh, uh, Yikes. Uh, well, <laughs> we use Yikes and not Z3, but uh, for the moment, let's say, OK? Uh, it is mainly due to the fact that we were not aware of, uh, of uh, any implementation uh, available for Linux in, uh, in, uh, for, for Z3 in any case. Okay, uh, so I don't want to go into this. Uh, further other feature of, of the prover here. Uh, just to mention that uh, uh, we have uh, implemented, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, invariant guessing, invariant generation, okay, uh, in, this, uh, in this context. And uh, there is a paper that we, uh, that uh, Tableau this year, that uh, uh, um, describes uh, this uh, invariant synthesis uh, uh, method. Okay, so basically uh, this is also something nice to say because uh, it's kind of simpler in this framework to integrate algorithmic backward reachability technique and deductive technique because they, you manipulate only formula, okay? So invariants are formula. Guessing invariants from formula is somehow easier than in other, in other context. Okay, the, the, the system that we have, uh, that I have described briefly is called MCMT, Model Checking Modulo Theories. It is available from the home page of uh, my, my co-author. There are two versions available, one for Linux and one for Mac. Uh, we have used as uh, benchmarks the one uh, available on the market, uh, uh, which are not so many, uh, but are basically uh, um, 
a collection of uh, um, basically mutual exclusion algorithm, a cache coherence protocol, and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, here are the, the experiments. Uh, the first part is uh, the system without invariant, and the other part is the system with, uh, with invariant. Okay? Uh, I don't have a comparison with, uh, for example, uh, Undeep or PFS, which are uh, a system developed by a PhD student of Abdullah and others because uh, we are somehow uneasy in making such a, a, a comparison because uh, there is no common format for this kind of, uh, of, uh, of problems uh, and the comparison is very difficult. In any case, in terms of uh, timings, uh, we are uh, comparable and for the uh, uh, simpler problem and we are faster uh, on the larger one, basically. This is maybe a, a, a suggestion that the, the system can scale up uh, um, consistently. Just to, uh, to um, for example, um, some of you may be familiar with the German uh, cache coherence protocol, which is kind of uh, uh, um, considered as a, as a hard benchmark for, uh, for this kind of automatic verification, okay? And, uh, uh, we have two versions. One is, uh, is the, the one directly derived in the Takas paper that you mentioned before, I think, uh, the one by Pnueli uh, and, uh, and others. And the one which is a little bit different and which is uh, uh, in the distribution of PFS. Where uh, it's different, it's very difficult to tell where it is different, but it seems that uh, it uses some kind of trick to make uh, 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 to reduce uh, the, um, uh, the, the possible interleaving of certain, uh, of certain transition. However, for our tool, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> this turns out to be more difficult than the original version. I don't know why. Uh, however, uh, uh, e even invariance, uh, our technique for invariance uh, does not have uh, a big impact. The big impact is there, basically, for the, mutual, for the class of mutual exclusion algorithm. For example, these two versions of, Zima, of the Zimanski algorithm, this has a, a coarse notion, uh, coarse actions, okay? And this is more fine-grained and more difficult. For example, in this case, from 24 minutes, we go down to, to five seconds, which is quite an important uh, reduction. Okay. So I think that is my last slide. Um, so what we have done is uh, to, show, to have uh, a nice uh, logical framework where we have uh, described all the, uh, an important class of uh, uh, verification problem, safety verification problem for, from parameterized system. We have shown that it's, uh, b b b besides being a, a nice, uh, um, framework, theoretical framework, can be implemented in uh, a, an interesting uh, and uh, satisfactory way. And um, well, uh, for, uh, for the community of the SMT solvers, I think that this is uh, a new stimulus to provide the support for uh, incrementality, basically. Otherwise, uh, uh, when you call, if you regard how many calls to the SMT solvers are there, okay? Uh, sometimes you have millions of calls. If you do not perform any, any form of incrementality, you are dead, okay? And uh, also we have some desiderata for SMT solver implementers uh, in order to get some, uh, uh, to be more lazy in doing some, uh, some work like uh, simplification uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this kind of, uh, of stuff. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. So did you, uh, you also verify some array solving programs? Did yes, you we model them as transition systems with the program yes. count as explicit, or do you? Uh, no. Symbolic? Well, we have uh, we have a nice uh, small example uh, for uh, insertion sort, 
where you don't uh, even need uh, this uh, the, the, to model the program count. It's very easy, but it's nice because uh, 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 if you don't know how to use this te invariant technique, then uh, it, the, the, it diverges. I, even if you have, uh, I think, a one or two transitions, it's very, very simple. I mean, but it diverges anyway. Okay. In, instead, if you use uh, this invariant uh, uh, techniques, you you find the invariance that uh, uh, allows you to say, mm, this is uh, this part of the state space is useless to search, and then in, uh, you cut, and then it immediately converges. Uh, we are uh, trying to to now we are focusing on uh, uh, um, more on. Uh, uh, kind of protocol verification, but it could be interesting also for, uh, for with the with respect to the predicate abstraction idea that you have mentioned before to have a look at the the program program manipulating arrays, right? Okay, thank you.